Hi there, I'm Jack from Twinkle and today we're going to put your learner's senses to the test with a taste test blindfolded. You might know how we sense taste. Taste buds on our tongues can sense different tastes. Sweet, salty, sour, bitter and umami. But you might not have known how much your other senses can affect your sense of taste. Your sense of smell heightens your sense of taste. When you chew food, the smell enters the back of your nose through your mouth. If you've ever noticed that your sense of taste is weaker when you have a cold, that's why. Another sense you might not associate with your sense of taste is your sense of sight. The colour of food can affect how you predict food might taste. Pink, purple and brown are associated with sweet flavours. Green, yellow and orange are associated with sour flavours and black is associated with bitter flavours. If you were handed a blue liquid and an orange liquid, which do you think would be minty and which do you think would be fruity? Well, what if a fruit juice just had blue food colouring mixed in? That might confuse your brain and shock your taste buds. In today's activity we will try to fool your sense of taste by weakening some of your other senses. Access this blindfolded taste test activity and follow the instructions and method very carefully. Cut up an apple into small cubes, do the same with a pear and with a cooked potato. In pairs, choose one person to taste test. They'll have to wear the blindfold. The second person will help the first person to complete the experiment so there's no cheating or peeking as it will ruin the test. The blindfolded person must hold their nose and taste each food, guessing what it is. Then swap places and repeat the experiment. Each blindfolded and nose blind person can communicate other aspects of the mystery food, like what it tastes like or whether it's soft or hard. You could also extend this experiment by taste testing different food, asking each child to predict what they think might happen, or asking each child to use their sense of touch first to help them to guess which food is which? After completing this experiment, try a number of follow-up activities. This activity is part of the Year 5 section in this Activity Passport, so why not try some of the other activities like taking part in a debate, experiencing a Victorian school room, or planning and cooking a meal? Then why not try a further experiment to see if your sense of sight does influence your sense of taste. Get some different food and drink together and use food colouring to change their well-known colours. As mentioned earlier, different colours are associated with different flavours. So why not sample some green milk, blue butter or purple chips? Will you trick your taste buds? Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to comment or review if you found these resources useful and join us again soon.